Yo, what's going on guys? Benny Brooks here and welcome back for another video. Now in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys my custom Lego Super Mario Bros advent calendar. This set was honestly really hard but super fun to make. I did something like this kind of special kind of different because we actually just hit 10,000 subscribers so I wanted to do something really really cool for you guys. Thank you guys so much honestly. I, I can't even express with words how much this means to me. I've always wanted to hit like a really big number on YouTube. I'm going to be doing some really cool stuff in the near future, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for that. So when I do upload, you guys will be some of the first people to watch it. Okay, now, with all that stuff out of the way, let's just get right into it. I'm going to start off with the very first LEGO item in this set. So on December 1st, if you actually had this set, like if it was a real set, this is what you would open in your advent calendar. Okay, so the first build that we're going to be taking a look at is a little tiny Mario Odyssey ship. This, of course, came from the game Super Mario. Mario Odyssey. It's like a super super mini build of the actual Mario Odyssey ship. I really like how this turned out. I wanted to include something from Mario Odyssey but still keeping the focus on the actual Super Mario theme. You can see there's a little flag in the back. Uh, that's a really simple build. Plus the balloon on top is literally just two little balloon pieces. There's also a gear on the bottom representing like all the golden dangling gears on the bottom. Anyways, yeah, let's move on to the next build. So the next build, and this is kind of frequent in a lot of these builds, is a platform. Now this platform is pretty cool because it has just a bag full of presents and gifts. It's really hard to make a whole advent calendar that's based on Super Mario because there's not a lot of Christmas theming stuff in Super Mario. You can kind of do it with Star Wars because there's a lot of vehicles in Star Wars where like you can make mini builds of. And there's a lot of stuff that you can do with City because it's City, you know? You can make Santa Claus, you can make a chimney, you can make a table full of food and stuff like that. But with Mario, it's just a platforming game, so, you know, it's like, I, you're gonna have some platforms. <laughs> so yeah, I just included this. I think it looks pretty cool. There's just two little plates that stick out of this. You can connect those to other builds in the set. Speaking of other builds, moving on to the third day, we have an arrow sign. Now hold on, <laughs> I know these builds are a little boring. Trust me, it picks up. You could say a lot of this stuff is filler, but honestly, it would be kind of cool just to have one of these signs just to put wherever in your builds. Anyways, there's nothing too eventful here, so we're gonna move on to number four. This is one of my favorite builds, just because of how goofy it is. It's two giant candy canes sticking inside of the snow. Those candy cane builds just use a bunch of different tube pieces, and also there's a bunch of like lumps of snow on the ground as well. You can connect this platform to any of the other platforms in the advent calendar. Anyways, moving on to day five. Okay, so on day five, we have our first character. This is Fu. Fu actually does come in 2021 in the character packs, but this one actually has a Santa Claus hat, so that's pretty cool. Fu is basically an enemy that like blows wind and it like tries to knock Mario off the platforms, so. And he's, he's featured in a lot of the snow levels as well, so I thought it would be kind of cool to include him in here. Next up, we have another piece of land. Now, trust me, <laughs> this is not filler at all. Uh, this just has like a little tiny snow bush and also a little blue flower. That could be like a baby ice flower or something like that, I don't know. But I really wanted to include a way for this to like include other Mario builds. Say you want to combine this with like a starter course, you could do that with all these platforms. Anyways, yeah, it, there's not that much interesting stuff on this one, so let's just move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a little platform for Fu to stand on. Fu actually like floats in the air, so yeah. It also includes another little flower build, and that's pretty much it for this platform. Let's move on to the next build. So on day eight, we actually have this platform. This is another one of my favorite platforms. There's two tree builds. Both of them have a bunch of snow on top of them. There's also a little tiny uh, like ice shard kind of on the floor, which is pretty cool. This one's also like one block tall, so it's a bit taller than all the other platforms, which I do actually like. Okay, moving on to day nine. This is my third favorite character in this set. Uh, this is the present bomb -om. I just wanted to include kind of like a really goofy character and this this definitely is a really goofy character. It's built just like any other bomb -om is in Lego Mario, but instead of like a little flame on top of his head, there's just a little bow and he has wrapping paper all over him, which is really cool. Next up, we have the bomb -om's display plate. So you can like put the Christmas bomb -om on here and display him, kind of like a character pack. You can just see there's a few little mini hills in the back. The biggest hill has a bit of snow on it. There's also a little ice shard on the ground. This one can connect with all the other plates as well. 
Next up is a little Mario sleigh, I guess you would say. It's kind of a raft as well. It can be whatever you want. Mario can stand on top of it and you can drag him around. This build is honestly pretty cool. There's something very similar to this coming in 2021 in the Wiggler Soda Jungle set. And I really like that build, so I wanted to include it here. Next up, we have a little fireplace build. I wanted to include some sort of stocking in this set as well, so there's a little stocking on there. This build is very generic, uh, but it's it's actually pretty cool. I like this one. There's a nice little chimney build as well on top. Next up, we just have some brick builds. Now, these I included because I really wanted there to be like some loose bricks that you can just put around your build. I really like the look of these in the past LEGO Mario sets, so I wanted to include them here. Kind of like you would find these in like a maker set or something like that. Anyways, moving on to day 14, we have another really weird but really cool build. This is the Fire Flower. Fire Flower just stands on a little 2x2 display plate. It's printed on a flat tile and you can also see there's like a 1x1 flower piece. I honestly really like the build for this. I think it turned out really, really nicely. On day 15, you actually do get two little presents. Now these are supposed to be like camouflage for the Christmas Miss Bomb. These are honestly pretty generic builds. There's a blue present and a green present. Anyways, moving on to the 16th day, we have an item cube. This build is very, very simple. It's just like all the other ones that come in all the other Mario sets. There's a bit of snow on the ground. It it also includes a gray plate that could be resembled as like concrete or something like that. The item cube does interact with Mario as well, so that's pretty cool. Day 17, we get just three pieces, a Mario flagpole, a plate, and a Mario flag. This is kind of like just like a little checkpoint. I put this in like my Mario Odyssey set. I wanted to include this in the advent calendar because they haven't actually included a checkpoint in the Mario Lego game. Moving on to day 18, this is by far my favorite build of the whole advent calendar. This is Santa Yoshi. It's the same Yoshi build, just with a little Santa costume on. He has those black Mario feet uh, as his like black shoes. He also has a nice 1x2 printed tile uh, just on his chest. That just represents like a little bit of a Santa costume. I honestly really like how this figure turned out. Uh, I It cracked me up when I was making this. I really wanted to include a Yoshi in this set somehow, and I found a perfect way to do that. I really like this. It also goes well with the present plate that was on day two. Anyways, moving on to day 19, this one I'm gonna not spend too much time on. It's another plate, but this one actually has Yoshi's interactive tile on it, so Mario can just scan that. It also has a little blue shard and a little lump of snow. Moving on to day 20, this is my second favorite character. And I know what you're thinking, Benny, this Goomba is not in any Mario game. And I know, this was literally, like, I couldn't think of a Christmas Mario character, and I really wanted to include a Goomba, so I just included one that kind of looks like Kenny from South Park. <laughs> He's just in a little snow costume. I, I don't know why I like this so much, but it's just so goofy to me, and it makes me laugh so much whenever I see this. It still does have a Mario interactive tile for a Goomba on top of it. The main build of it is orange, and you can just see the little Goomba head popping out of the little snow costume. On day 21, you get this amazing tree build. There's a star on top of the Christmas tree. That's just like a Mario star. It's pretty cool. There's also some nice ornaments all over the tree. It's a pretty small tree, but I like it for what it is. It also has a red tree skirt on the bottom, and that's just all on top of a little Mario plate. On day 22, you get this nice snowball launcher. You can actually hit the bottom of the snowball launcher with Mario's feet, so it can send snowballs flying. You can try to hit an enemy with it, or you can just try to hit an enemy with, like, when you launch it with your finger or something like that. Mario can get in a snowball fight with like a Goomba or like the Goomba with his awesome snowsuit can get in a fight with uh, the Yoshi, which, you know, whatever. And for day 23, we just have this nice little 2D build. There's a little tiny micro Goomba right there. And there's just like a little tiny grassy plains area. I wanted to include more little micro things, kind of like the Star Wars advent calendars do. But I couldn't really find a way to do that because like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a Mario set based off of a Mario game, which there's not really any vehicles or anything like that in it. And for day 24, or also known as the last day, better known as Christmas Eve, we have the Mario Santa costume. Now, I need to give a really, really, really big shout out to Vin Vin Mario or VVM over on DeviantArt for making this awesome creation. I'll have a link to his DeviantArt page. Please go check it out. He makes some wild Mario stuff. He also has a YouTube channel. I'll have both those links in my description so you guys can go check him out. Seriously, huge credit to him for making this awesome Mario costume. The Mario Santa costume just works and it gives Mario the Santa costume. Now, I don't fully know what the Santa power-up pack would actually entail, but I did want to include this just because of how like goofy it looks and I, I just love how this looks so much. 
And here are all the builds just lined up. I really like how this turned out. I think that if LEGO were leaning towards a LEGO Mario advent calendar, that this is the route that they would take. Just because it is an advent calendar does not mean that it needs to lose its LEGO Mario like theming to it. How each build can interchange and how like it's all customizable to the player. I feel like that is still held within this. Anyways, yeah, let's just move on to the box art. The box set is a little bit different than all the other Mario boxes. This one says that it is an advent calendar instead of like an expansion set or like a starter course or anything in the bottom right. You can see the Lego Mario logo in the top left. The set does come with 320 pieces. Technically speaking, the set comes with four figures, six if you include the star and also the fire flower. Anyways, yeah, so what do you guys think about this advent calendar? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. You are a true fan of Benny Bricks. And if you have made it this far into the video, I want you to comment down below your favorite character and your favorite build in this advent calendar. Alright, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. It means so, so much to me. I love each and every single one of you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm, bye!